That's cool. <laughs> Windy City! Beautiful here! <laughs> it's got a real Rivendell feel to it. It's not gonna end well, this is it. Let's have a look. Well, I kinda like the way the cows couldn't give a monkey's chuff about <laughs> the history here. Welcome back to the lamest channel on YouTube. I mean, literally lame. Actually injured again, can you believe it? Last time it was the Achilles and it's kind of starting to heal up a little bit now, but now it's my right foot that's the problem and it's preventing me from getting out up on the hills properly. I'm absolutely gutted. I'm not gonna tell you what I've done. Okay, I stubbed my toe. <laughs> I stubbed my flipping toe at home really hard and it's kind of jammed the nail right into the flesh a couple of weeks ago. Toe's about twice the size it should be and there's lots of green gunge coming out of it, but it'll be fine. Anyway, like I said, it's keeping me off the hills, it's keeping me away from up there, and it's a fantastic day today as well, typically. And I fancy going camping this weekend, but I can't do any of it. I'm crawling the walls at home. I'm not a home person or a house person. I like to be out and about. So I thought I'd come to Ambleside and have a little wander around. Just a wander through Ambleside on a beautiful sunny day. And I thought, you know what? I'll bring you guys along with me. Why not? Go and uh, do some shopping. Go and get some food, maybe. We're going to go and check out Stockgill Force and have a wander over to the Roman fort over on the other side of the town. Basically do the tourist thing. I never do the tourist thing in Ambleside. I'm always here to get gear or go and get some food, of course, but never have a proper wander around and do the whole tourist thing. So yeah, let's go and do it. Let's go and have a wander through. Okay, literally a couple of minutes into the walk and we're at Styles. So if you've watched my camping video where it all kind of went a little bit weird, this is where I finished with an American breakfast. Let's cross over. Next pot call, Zeffirelli's. This is a great restaurant and cinema. So you can kind of go and have a meal there and then go and watch a film afterwards or vice versa. What's on? Let's go and have a look inside. Now it's worth mentioning that Zeff's is a vegetarian establishment, but don't let that put you off if you're a flesh eater like me. The food here is absolutely delicious. They do this vegetarian take on a beef wellington that is literally indescribable. And it's not too shabby inside either. I've decided I need a new lightweight waterproof jacket to wear during these shoulder seasons. So I made a beeline to one of my favourite outdoor shops. But as I rifled through the multicoloured mayhem of Gore-Tex, it soon dawned on me that we were heading into the wrong season for lightweight jackets. And so I sloped off to the shoe section to drool over these. And yes, I did go back and get them. Support local and all that. I just love gear. It's a real problem. I think I'm also in the market for a warmer sleeping bag this winter. What do you think? Minus 20 should do the trick. The only real downside to this shop is that it can seriously damage your bank account. So I escaped and got back on street. Wow, it is getting busier. Look at that up there now. I don't know if that's coming out of the camera, but up towards um, Low Pike. This is a very famous bridge house, and I'm hoping it's open. It's actually a National Trust information office. Uh, no. <laughs> it's not open. Damn it. This is the ultimate tiny house. It was ingeniously built over the river to avoid land tax, and was originally used as an apple store. And at one time, a family with six kids lived here in the two tiny rooms. Six. Wow, it's really busy now. <laughs> Okay, now the other side's busy, look. Let's go. There we go, that's what I want to show you, that. I think 
I'm sure the footpath goes up this way. It's been a while, like I said. But look at that, there's a lot of water there. A lot of water. Oh, I've gone completely wrong there. Back out onto the road. I do love Ambleside, I really do. Alright, here we go. This is the way. Bridge Street. Really nice going through there then. I like that uh, ram skull there. I'm gonna have to take it. I wouldn't do that. Okay, we're under the side now. That's where I was a minute ago, getting completely lost. That's <laughs> on the wrong side of the river. And the place I want to go is down here. And this is actually a shout out to a budding young geologist who's a massive fan of the channel and gets very excited when I talk about rocks and you know geological stuff on the, uh, the videos. So Ted, this one is for you mate. Let's go and check out some rocks. I was in there was in the 1980s, about 1982 or three, and it's exactly the same. It's not changed one bit. Okay, the dinosaur stuff's a bit more. Well, didn't have any. It's just all rocks, but it just looks exactly the same. I can't believe it. Brilliant. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that, Ted. Wow, it would have been a nice day out. Look, look at that. Let's have a wander around here. We've been around here for ages. I mean, ages. This feels a bit scruffy around this bit here for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's Greg's. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Take care, mate. Thank you. Shall we have a little wander through gamers? Yeah, let's do it. Go on. <laughs> like a hammer. <laughs> Day. Brilliant. Oh god, there's so much wonderful gear. Hello, oh, look at you. Oh, you're a lovely dog, aren't you? Oh, no one paying any attention to you. <laughs> okay, gang, let's go and have a look at Stock Gill Force. This is actually the worst place to cross the road. <laughs> the right booby here in front of this car. Here you go. Right. Okay, this Thai restaurant. About 15 years ago, I had a jungle curry, and I'm not kidding you, it nearly killed me. I was actually hallucinating while I was sat at the table. <laughs> right, what we'll do, we're going to go up this way, but afterwards we'll come back down and go along that way there, past Keisty and, and what have you. Right, here we go. Waterfall. Loving these trees. If I'm not mistaken, these are beech trees. Lovely. All the leaves are changing now. It's gorgeous, honestly. Oh, especially on a day like today when it's sunny. I'm liking being a tourist. I mean, I know I'm a tourist up on the fells anyway, really, aren't I? Beautiful. Loving all these greens as well. Really, absolutely stunning. Look at it. Look. 
I mean, it looks rubbish in this camera. It's just, it's just a GoPro, so it's doing some weird things with the light, but you get the idea. I think it's somewhere I definitely want to come back with my camera, actually. I mean, it's, it's somewhere I've been meaning to come for quite a while, quite a lot of years, to come and set up, you know, and do a long exposure with a tripod and all that. The usual stuff, you know. But I always put it off and do other things, normally up in the hills. It reminds me a lot of around, um, oh, what's it called? Gal Barrel, you know, around Air Force. Very similar, similar sort of path, similar sort of feel to it. Oh, this is a real shame. This fallen beach. Beautiful. Just kind of hope it's got some roots still in the ground there. You never know, sometimes they do carry on growing. But it looks so weird. It looks like it's still in the ground. Look, let's turn the camera and get the right angle. <laughs> it's still there. Anyway, stop waffling and get up to the falls. Cheers, man. Cheers. Chicago from Chicago, the Windy City. Windy City. Yeah. Beautiful here. <laughs> it is beautiful here. Oh, getting there. We're getting there. Behold. You know, it's so long since I've last been here and I forgot just how beautiful this is. Maybe even more beautiful than Air Force actually. It's got a real Rivendell feel to it. If you've not been here, you need to come. If you've been to Ambleside but not visited this place, you need to put this on your agenda. It's incredible. Absolutely stunning. All right, here we are, a top stock guild force. That's quite something, isn't it? Can you imagine getting in a rubber ring and going down that, and then to the other side, lovely. Let's have a little wander down here, not too far, because I want to head back into the village. So it's just here, really, that I want to have a look at. And again, you know, it's just not coming out properly in this camera. It's so small and insignificant, but obviously when you're here, it's big, that's big, and noisy. Okay, slight change of plan. Let's keep on uh, going down this side of the falls, because eventually we should cross a bridge. That'll take us back over. A lot of routes around here. That is really nice. In fact, let's have a little wander down here as well. Oh, it's very, very muddy. <laughs> very muddy. I've not really got the right, right stuff on. As you can see, I've got my jeans on as well, which is unheard of. Oh, you get the idea, look. Let's go around there and get a really good view. I will end up right in it. Right in it, you know I will. Anyway, let's get down to uh, the bridge of Khazad Doom. Right. It's not going to end well, this is it. Let's have a look. I can just see that rolling off. <laughs> oh, these guys. Oh, God, it's getting, it's getting muddy again. Oh, it's so beautiful. And it's funny, this side is really quiet. Oh, it's in a handful of people. Oh, what a cute bridge. What a cute little bridge. It's looking cute upstream. And it's looking very cute downstream as well. It's the fall of the river. Right, that's the way I came up. But this time I'm going to go along this path here. Guess what? I got lost. <laughs> After everything I've said, I'm back at that tree. I shouldn't be at that tree. I should be further over this way. Honestly, I shouldn't be allowed out on my own. The path I want <laughs> is somewhere in these woods. It's a bit like Blair Witch now, isn't it? All right, found the path. Here it is. This is the one I wanted. Uh, I have no idea how I missed it. At some point here, there should be a hole in the wall. There should just be a wall. Where's the wall? Uh, <laughs> Where's the gate? 
never follow my route. <sighs> and look at that view, isn't that absolutely beautiful? Looking out towards Luffrig. And I think I'm being followed. <laughs> okay. We're gonna go left here. That doesn't look right. Went too far. <laughs> it's back up here. So if you get to that there, that little um, cul-de-sac, you've gone too far. The footpath is just up here. There we go. Never been down here. It's the first time I've ever walked down this little lane. And I like it. I like it so far. Lovely. Some nice houses. These are really big hedges. A bit like Cornwall. Do I go through here? I think I do. Imagine having a garden with that view. So you've got the Fairfield Horseshoe right there, look. Okay, this lovely couple here just told me there's a, a deer just in this field. Oh yeah, look, look. It's kind of strange to see them just stood still that long. I thought they'd be gone by the time. You know what? It was still looking that way as I carried on down here. I was thinking, hang on, I mean, if I've been fooled here, is it actually a stuffed one? But it, it has, it's moved its head. This is nice. This is the lesser spotted Ambleside. Wow, look at it. Beautiful. Low pike, high pike, and beyond. Gorgeous. Nice. Horse chestnut. So if you're British and old enough, you know what we used to do with these. Stick them on a bit of string, stick them in vinegar, make them harder, and then play like beating the living daylights out of each other's conkers in the playground. In fact, I think they might have banned in a lot of places. They? They, they told the kids you had to wear goggles to play conkers, you know, eye protection. All right, here we go. Emerging back out into suburbia. Oh, it's an amazing view, isn't it? So I believe there's a cutting down here at some point when I can get down to somewhere. Okay, found it. Just keep going on. Oh, look at it out there. Right, let's get down here. Lower gale. Okay, I think I know where I am now. Right, back where I started. And back on the cheap side. Keisty, I keep mentioning Keisty. Let's see if we can have a little sneak peek in the window. Uh, probably can't actually, it's shut today. Um, but, oh, you can't see it. Five photographs <laughs> behind in there. 24 by 16 inch fully framed photographs in that shop there, in the, that red shop, in that fine dining restaurant. That's Ryan Blackburn's restaurant, or one of them. The other one is um, the old stamp house down there, which we're going to have a look at in a minute. But first, let's have a wander around here and down past um, oh, the Ambleside Inn and then the bike shop. I can never remember the names of these places. <laughs> You'll see. Side cycles, of course. So back at Zephyrilly's there, look, just over the corner. About to get run over. <laughs> Lots of little streets like this. Very cute. Very Lakelandy. And there's a little workshop down here. It's really cute. A little slate kind of sign workshop just here. Let's have a little peek in. Hello. Hello. I mean, he's probably been doing that for donkey's years. Right, about to come out on the, I don't know what road this is, what name it is, but by a place called Fellini's, which is like the sister restaurant, struck cinema, to um, Zeffirelli's. It's about the same business, same food, same films. Let's see if they've got that thing on the menu. Um, 
cashew lentil nut roast on croute serve of mashed potato. Similar, but not the same. It was a beef wellington, but without the beef, it was nut roast wellington. It was so good. Right, I'm gonna have a little wander into another shop that I really like. It's Adventure Peaks. It's the company that I'd trek to base camp with, but they've got a shop as well. Some really good proper gear in there. There's simply nothing more beautiful than a wall of Expedition and Trek brochures. Look at all these places. That's the one. Classic Everest. And what do you reckon? A little bit overkill for here? Nah, I'm getting it. Let's go and have a look at the climbing wall. Let's see if we can get up there. This is a nice looking climbing wall. I mean, I've not been to many others to compare it to, but it certainly seems decent. And very, very high. Eek. Oh, I'm not even gonna try that. I will break something. <laughs> okay, let's make our way down to Waterhead now, um, which is a top end of Windermere. So Ambleside actually kind of sits a little bit away from the lake so it's a little bit of a walk ahead to get to waterhead um but it's worth it it's a nice walk and we'll pop into Hayes as well why not it's a little wander around there make the most of um being a tourist <laughs> and it's kind of easy to get run over here careful i'll tell you where i forgot to go was the, um, the old stamp house where William Wordsworth used to work. Damn it. That's the other Ryan Blackburn restaurant, the, uh, the old stamp house. But uh, yeah, completely forgot. Just walked straight past it. In fact, I got slightly distracted by the, um, the beef wellington that isn't beef wellington, but veggie wellington. All right, we've got Hayes Garden World here. But more importantly, we've got the um, Langdale and Ambleside Mountain Rescue. Very, very busy team. The busiest, I think, actually. Come on, let's go and have a little wander around here. Wow, we've got the Christmas stuff up already. Welcome to a September winter wonderland. It looks like they've just started the changeover to all the Christmas displays. When it's done, you won't be able to move for Christmas trees. I remember coming here as a kid and being absolutely bored stiff looking at plants. I certainly don't remember all of this stuff. This place is huge now. Wow, it's like a greenhouse in here, red hot. It's getting bigger and bigger, that place. Okay, here we are at Waterhead and first glimpse of Windermere there. Down here, look. Okay, we'll go down there in a minute. Ah, now then, I think you can actually get this thing here back into town. Um, just jump on it. I don't know how much it is. Uh, adult two pound fifty, child one pound. There you go. There's your prices. I think I've only ever been here once in my entire life. Um, a long time ago. 
Right, let's get down to Water Edge and get a pint. See how high the water is, look, look at it. <laughs> I reckon it might be shut here, you know. Let's have a look. Well, it does look open. It just looks really grim at the moment. It feels really wintry. In fact, look at that, that car park's completely closed off. Uh, flooded. This is a really bad area for flooding, uh, especially this garden. I mean, it comes right up over the beer garden. Let's go and have a look. And I think this place has closed so many times because of the flooding. Um, must be a nightmare for insurance. But yeah, summer, it's lovely sitting out there, as you can see. Anyway, let's go and get a pint. I'm just Right, let's get over to the Ambleside Roman Fort. Just need to work out how the hell to get there, because it's probably the first time I've ever walked down here. I always drive down this bit here. Choppy, very choppy. I suspect that guy there is um, homeless. I might be wrong, but looks like he had a lot of gear in there. What a shame. That's nice, the boat coming in there. I don't know if that's the Swan or the other one. Denzel. <laughs> Lovely oak tree. Gorgeous. You know, I've never, ever walked here. This is the first time I've ever walked in this little park and it's lovely, really, really lovely. So what we'll do now is we'll head over to the, hang on, what's this here, look. Comes another one. No idea, literally no idea what that is, but it sounded very nice. I could get through there, look, but it looks a bit soggy. And I've just clocked a whole bunch of cows. Okay, it's not too bad here. Here we are at the Ambleside Roman Fort. It's quite extensive actually, I didn't realize it was this big. I think what they've done, I think they've excavated this section here, this section and this section, these bits haven't been excav excavated yet. I think they've done like a, a LIDAR. Let's go and have a wander around. Let's try not to get trampled under hoof by these cows. Because <laughs> you know what cows are like. They can be a little bit skittish. These are the ruins, by the way, that I've mentioned before in previous videos when I've been up High Street. Uh, I've talked about the, the Roman uh, armies marching across High Street from Penrith over to Ambleside. And this is where they were coming. This is the main gate. That's what it looked like. And that's it now. It's really good having these little kind of, you know, uh, artist impressions of what it looked like back in the day, because otherwise you just have no idea, would you? Ah, right, okay. Angle Tower. Stone Fort was laid out in a standard playing card shape. There's a small tower at each of its rounded corners. So a tower stood here. We'll go right round. So this is the edge. All oh, this is the edge here. And you can actually see the bit there that they've fully excavated. And there's the gate. And there's the cows. <laughs> I 
kind of like the way the cows couldn't give a monkey's chuff about <laughs> the history here and everything that's gone before it. They really don't care. To them, it's just it's food. This is the South Gate, large gateway known as Porta Principalis. Had a single entrance and flanking walls rather than towers. You can still see the outer threshold stone with its pivot holes for the massive wooden doors. Must be this here. It's just fascinating, isn't it? Absolutely fascinating to think. You know, the history here, there were actual Roman soldiers, there may be conscripts, there probably were conscripts, but still, there must have been at least a handful of actual Roman people here, you know, uh, the commanders and what have you. So far these cows seem fairly placid, but you never know, do you? Right, jogging all over the place, someone's lost a brolly. Right, here we go. The heart of the Ambleside Roman fort, commanding officer's house, I guess that's over there. And then we've got the headquarters in the middle and then the granary buildings on the outside. So this is what worries me. These are like little bullocks. Well, actually, no, that's a cow. Young cow and a young bullock. Getting freaked out by these cows. I can look over my shoulder, like a whole lot of them. I just honestly, I'd love a time machine right now just to, you know, just dial it back and just watch what was going on here. I wonder what that was. If you're in Ambleside, Amblesity, <laughs> you should definitely come and visit this. I mean, it's it's free, it's open. Anybody can just walk in, you don't have to pay for anything. And uh, yeah, a little bit of history. Very good. And obviously with this amazing backdrop, you know, you've got the Fairfield Horseshoe right there, right in front of you. Look at this. This is one of my favourite views, and we'll see this as we walk down the road. This uh, barn here, and then obviously part of the Fairfield Horseshoe in the background. It's something I've wanted to photograph for a lot of years. It's just working out how to get it, maybe getting in here. Winter, winter would look amazing. I might try it. I'll tell you what, this light is looking really beautiful now, really soft. About half four. Yeah, look at it. Look at it out towards one's fell up here. Look. Again, I've never ever walked down here. Only ever driven. I always drive, and I've never even noticed if there was a, a pavement here. <laughs> Turns out there is. This is probably the safer option, actually, rather than walking on the road. Pedestrians have got our own very, very cute little bridge rather than risking going on the road bridge there. Well, this is very cute, isn't it? <laughs> Love it. It's a little bit rickety, has to be said. Kind of moves a bit. Okay, I need to get across the road here without getting splattered. Um, Yep, did it. I don't know if you can see it on this camera, but this tree here is looking really, really beautiful. A lot of red in it. Let's go and see what it is. Um, is it a maple? It could be a maple. I think it is. Wow, it's flooded a lot down here. Look at it. In this field, you can see the heron there, look. And that is moving rather rapidly. Hope you're enjoying this one, by the way. It's a little bit of a, a different type of video for me, but it could be interesting. It could be interesting to do a series of these sorts of videos going around villages, towns, cities, that kind of thing. So, you know, if you do like it and you've got some ideas for other places, if you if it's villages or towns or cities or wherever, you know, and not even in the UK, it could be anywhere in the world, let me know in the comments because I'm up for traveling. You know, I'm happy to, to go anywhere and just see new places and do new things and bring them to you guys if you've been there before and you'd like to see them again or you've never been somewhere but would really like to see it then let me know it could be a it could be a good series for these times when i get injured you know which seems to be quite a lot okay there is rothy park um we just need to go a bit further up we'll go across this very very cute little bridge all stone straight out of rivendell
That is beautiful, isn't it? That right there, this whole scene, with the tree, the water, the bridge. Oh, that's some tumult, isn't it? But here we are in Rothy Park. So this is where they do their fireworks display on the 5th of November or around that area. And it's good. It's actually one of the best ones I've ever seen. So it's, yeah, definitely worth coming to if you're in the area around about that time of year. Kind of worrying that there's this much water around already in September, because normally it's November, we get a lot of rain, a lot of storms. But if the ground's saturated now, heck, that could be scary. Oh, I've got a cute little Jack running towards me. jack a -poo. Literally, Jack having a poo. Should we go and see if we can have a little bit of a shufty round St. Mary's? See if we can get inside and have a look. I've never been in, never ever. But I do love churches. I love the inside of them. I love the history and the architecture. Let's go and have a look. It's just here. To be honest, I don't even know where the entrance is. Where is it? <laughs> I'll have a wander around. I'll do a full circuit at first. Uh, it's not looking very open, is it? Nice view, though. That's lovely. Is it open? Nope. I think it's well and truly shut. Damn! I was kind of looking forward to that. I was looking forward to getting in there and, you know, like I said, seeing all the history and the, the architecture, but unfortunately not today. I will come back, though, because it's a fascinating looking place. It's a big old spot, actually. Bigger than I thought. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. That, that light's looking very nice, isn't it? Back at the camp park. And if you get a park here or the other one on Rivals Road. Don't bother using old machines, they're a nightmare. Just take ages to kind of do anything. And I think they only take cash, I think. I might be wrong there, actually. <laughs> Just get the number on the side, go to pay by phone, website or the app, and just do it that way, just pay. And then, if you're out and about, and you're running out of time, you can just top it up on the website. That's what I've done today, when I was up the, um, at Waterhead. I just topped up another, another hour or so, which is good. Anyway, look at the van. I really do hope you've enjoyed this. A little bit different, a little bit different from up on the fells like I normally go, or while camping or what have you. But yeah, it's nice to mix it up a little bit actually. Nice to be a tourist for a change as well. So I guess I'll see you back out on the fells really soon if my foot's better. If not, I'll be back in another village. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.